we start drawing using the frame 3D design go to new then choose frame 3D design from here as you see the menus are slightly different and the uh, icons are different too so go to our first step which is access definition by defining the grid for example for x axis we have 5 by 5 and for y we have uh, 5 by 4 and for z axis we have uh, 4 by 3 and apply and to see to move the to the 3, 3d go from here now the most important thing is the drawing process so to start drawing columns and beams you don't have to select beam and start drawing beams or select the column and start uh, drawing columns no all you have to do is select these uh, bars and you do not have to specify that you want column or beam just simple bar but different sections for uh, columns or beams let's start drawing with this section for columns and that's it and to start drawing uh, beams just change the section for example this one choose C uh, or C4 by 4.5 and add it then close and start drawing uh, beams if you start uh, if you start drawing like this it's like single beam then the other single one but if you select the drag you can continue then press escape close that now our next step is to copy this thing from here to the second axis third fourth fifth up to the end but notice we want them also in this direction there is a simple trick to do this and that's by selecting everything this one node not selected selecting everything then go to edit then choose this one which is copy on dx we have 0 on dy we have 4 but in the minus in the negative uh, direction on z axis we have 0 and number of repeats we want 1 2 3 4 5 5 repeats and choose drag this option allows you to make a copy of them in this direction then press on execute as you see there is beams on the ground how to delete them well go to xy and on base we are already in ba uh, on base on zero level then select everything and delete apply go back to 3d and you see it's already made the reason why we have chosen the uh, different sections for columns and beams is to simplify the selection process so what should we do to select all columns well first uh, turn on the sections then right click on one column and select similar by cross section as you see all columns are selected now what should you do in order to change the material as you see they are still still columns and you want to make them uh, reinforce concrete well from here uh, from from structure to, uh, structural element choose column and 
from sections here you can change it as for example this one and now they are reinforced concrete or you can you can do that from here go from here and choose RC column and uh, insert your dimensions this one then apply close it and the same thing you can do to beams select one beam and select by cross section then go to section definition and new RC beam choose from here RC beam not RC column and the width let's make it uh, 25 by 50 then apply from here well that's it how to make uh, columns and beams from uh, frame 3 design now after completing the making uh, columns and beams we want to make shear walls but as you see they are not here they are not available here then go to geometry structure type and change the structure type to building design Now we move to draw the slabs. Uh, to draw a slab, you press on this uh, icon, which is uh, floors, and uh, change the thickness of your slab that, that you want. For example, we make it as uh, 12 centimeters and it's also constant we name it as uh, slab slab 12 choose the concrete that you want concrete 25 then add it this is slab 12 and from here you choose the type of slab of the slab model which is a uh, wall or shell or something like that but from here from the thickness you can change the type of slab as a homogeneous so solid slab or from here you can change you can choose any one of them but for this time we we choose the solid slab and tomorrow in the next video we'll talk about slabs in details so it's a rectangle but here we have to disable the finite uh, element type uh, it's also disabled and the slab is two way and start modeling Include it now. Select one slab and go to edit. Not this one, this one, and copy it for x0 for y uh, minus 4. And you want it uh, one, two, three, four times, but for z0, we want it four times. Execute, then select these four 
and go from here uh, for uh, x we want minus 5 for y 0 for z 0 and number 1 2 3 4 you can check that by a calculation go to display load these are the load transfer mechanisms well next step is to uh, repeat these things for the second and third and fourth floor then go to front and select everything but the supports that means like this drag like this and then go to edit copy for x1 0 for y0 for z in the positive direction we want it as 3 and number of repetitions 1 2 3 then close it as you see this is our structure consisting of four floors now we have to define the stories uh, we can define stories from here geometry and uh, stories and here we can choose it this one and the same thing the same icon is found here you can press it and start defining uh, stories manually this is uh, the ground and this is first second third fourth and press on apply as you see we have defined the stories and uh, you can uh, move between them from here for selection now let's talk about column cross sections and eccentricity usually column cross sections decreases as we go up so let's assume that this column in the last uh, story uh, should be modified uh, its cross section is 30 by 70 so let's uh, create a new section and assign it to this column go to section definition and from here you can create new section and define it as 25 um, let's okay 20 by 60 20 by 60 that's it then add yes close it and then close the thing and go from here choose 20 by 60 as you see it, it has it has been modified but usually columns should be in the uh, in the outer edge of the uh, underneath column so what should we do well go to this icon and press on offset choose offset and uh, create new offset and assign it to global and as you notice from here we want to move in uh, uh, negative direction of x-axis and positive direction of y-axis and uh, we have to move at 5 centimeters because it, uh, the cross-section was 30 by 60 and now it's 20 by 60 that means uh, 5 uh, from all directions from two directions so from x-axis minus 5 and uh, from beginning and end minus 5 for y axis we want 5 and 5 then add uh, name it as any name and close it then apply
now it's in the outer edge of the underneath column If you want this beam to be in the outer edge of the column, then go to Offset, New. Um, relative, uh, Axis Offset. Sorry, not Axis Offset. In the axis from here, uh, increase length. Then add Choose it and apply As you see, its length uh, has been increased more than the other beams The last thing we want to talk about in this lesson is releases. So how to make releases, especially between uh, two different elements, like uh, if we have a wall and beam, and you want to make, uh, to make a release between them. Uh, first of all, select the, the beam or the element that you want to make releases with for example we want this one to have free, mo uh, free moment about uh, y axis <clears throat> to be released from uh, ry then go to geometry releases another option is from here releases the same thing then define new releases new release and you can uh, choose whether to free it from this direction or from this direction uh, beginning and end you can check the beginning and end from here by disabling the the direction I close it first you can see the direction of the arrow its beginning is here and its end is here this one its beginning is here and end is here then go to releases again define new one and we want it in the beginning to be free name it any name and apply to this one close it As you turn off the sections, you can see the release here between them. That was our lesson for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just do not hesitate and write them below in the description. Or send them via my email. Bye.